Looks like we got a fish on. You maybe you don't want to get his head started right away. When you see him. Pretty heavy, Pete? Yeah, it was. If I had a guess, I'd say 20 and 4 hour. If not that. Yeah, huh? I'll go down and get him. No, let him do his thing. Yep. Big one. Got a tape if you need it. Oh, sweet. So let, him, let him do yep. his thing. Can you get his nose started? Here, turn, yep. Pull yeah. back. Pull, pull back. Well, big white bass. That's fun. Taking him home. And uh, we're gonna get this drop back down. Stay tuned for more. Cool, I've never had a chance to fish with one of these before, but I've always wanted to. So this is the pan optics, and you can see pretty much everything that's going on down there, which is pretty sweet. And I'm out here with Brian. And Pete. And Pete. How's it going? Hi, Pete. And uh, it's nice and toasty in here, and we've got a uh, world record uh, booger bass, as I heard they're called, out here on the ice. So hopefully more fish to come. Okay, so we just had a fish swim through. He went right under, and I really wanted to show you. There it is. See that orange mark coming up right underneath the jig? That's a fish. See what he does. Looks like he's going to move off. Didn't really like what I had to offer. That was cool. Well, we got one sitting right under the minnow. And I don't know. Oh, he just bailed out. Dang it. That looks like a nice fish. Oh. Back. Well, I am uh, slacking on my uh, camera duties as we're catching fish, but that was pretty cool. I watched this guy uh, come sliding in and grab the minnow just right off the bottom, so that was a lot of fun. Just a little dinker pike. Um, I'm going to ask what they want me to do with this, but there, was, there were two down there at the same time. One was playing with the jig, and uh, he... All right, so hopefully you can see that red mark on there. And he's like pretty much right at where my minnow is. So hopefully he'll uh, I'll take this one down and we'll have another fish on. I don't know if that's gonna happen. He's he's swimming off. I don't believe he's swimming with my minnow. So. Uh, oh, there goes a second one too. This one off from the, the right. Alright, we're gonna make a change. So I don't know how well you guys will be able to see this jig, but that's what we've got on right now. And we're going to switch over to the Frostbite Dinner Bell in the Lip Smacker color. And uh, we'll just see. Um, we did just have another mark swim through and uh, looked at the minnow and then decided that uh, it wasn't hungry, so it went off. So, hopefully, um, with a smaller bait that's a little more aggressive and the dipstick um, going, hopefully, we'll be able to, uh, to get a few fish wrangled here. We'll give it a shot. Um, there's been some really nice perch caught out through that window, so we'll see. Um, oh, look at that. Look, there's another mark on the screen. Oh, come on, take it. Take it. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a fish on here, boys. Well, just had a nice school of perch come in, and uh, we finally connected on one. So, uh, there's some more down there. I got a um, minnow down there, too, but I'm going to drop right back down. Does anything beat a hot, perfectly cooked hamburger when you're ice fishing? The answer is no. It's called 11.30, 11.35. I need to slow down quite a bit. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be getting packed up and getting out of here soon. So unless if something crazy happens or we get another fish on, um, until next time, tight lines, tight chains, shoot straight. Have a great day.